Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan, and welcome back to our Escape from Tarkov One Rated Day series. We have uh, an exciting episode ahead of us. Uh, why is it an exciting episode, you say? Aren't they all exciting? That, yeah, that's basically true. That's basically true. Um, they're all 100% equally exciting. What we have ahead of us is uh, is the chance to go run in and get some quests done with a little bit of money. So I have a uh, I have a scav. I was just checking to see if I have a scav. Um, I have a loadout here with a VPO that we could use to go into Shoreline. I also have these DVLs, and I've honestly been sitting here thinking, wondering about uh, about what we could throw on this sucker uh, for for scopes. So I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna look. Uh, 25 millimeter mount. Let's just buy one because they're pretty cheap. Here's what we should do. Obviously, we should link search. We have these DVLs, and I'm thinking uh, potentially it could actually be fun to uh, to run them. So, so yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Um, I just did this. I linked search. 25 millimeter mount ring. So we linked search on that. This should work, right? No. What goes on the 25 millimeter mount ring? What scopes? That's the question that I'm asking. Oh man, I'm confused. Um, let's just buy one, sure. Wait, shit. Does nothing go on them? Uh oh. <laughs> Does nothing go on it? Wait, am I dumb? Don't answer that question. Am I dumb? Is that just for lights? That's hundred percent just for lights. Well, shit. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was wasted money, but that's fine. Um, link search. Scopes. We could use the valde on it. So what that means is that we could use this valde right here, and that will go right on. Will it? No shit. Okay, so here's what I want to here's what I want to try then. It's got a it, it probably should have much higher uh, muzzle velocity 960 versus this one had 650. Yeah, yeah, that's way faster. So uh, here's what we want to do. We want to get better ammo for it. First off, let's unload. Um, keep both of those there. Keep that there. Uh, let's buy a couple of these. Two more. Great. Um, throw them there. We have no ammo to currently load into him. So link search by ammo. Uh, now this is where we want like M61 or M62, but they are freaking expensive through. It's uh, this is with quest completion. M80 rounds. Oh my God, $5,000 a bullet for that one. Uh, not worth it. I don't think that's worth it at all, and I don't think that's worth it. So I think we have to go M80, and that still... Let me take a look at this. We're going to buy um, 50. Yeah, that's plenty. Um, we're going to try this, but we have a bunch of 10 mags of, uh, of sorry, of uh, 10 round mags. So 20 shots should be good. So, okay, we got that on it. Um, it does not have a suppressor, but that's fine. Uh, okay, so... What I was going to check is M80 ammo. That's what I was going to check. M80 ammo Tarkov and see what the pin and stuff is. Um, pin is 41, damage is 80. Okay, so we should be chilling with that. We should be chilling. That should be... It should have a lot less drop, which is, which is going to be huge for us... Uh, for us actually um, being able to snipe and it should work out just fine. So we have painkillers. Cool. Let's uh let's see if we can hop into a shoreline raid and, and see what we can do. Um actually if we're gonna be running shoreline, it's my favorite key in the game. Why did it get so much more expensive?
We're gonna buy it. I hope I hadn't already bought it. I have not already bought it. All right, cool. We're gonna buy it. Um, okay, so along the way, we have a couple different tasks we could be doing. Uh, Shoreline, we have one more jammer to place. We have these three all in one. Um, and is that basically it? We have one more motor controller. Um, jammer there. Yeah, we're really leveling up. Okay, let's do this. Because uh, I want to, if we die on shoreline, I really want to... Uh, I want to go. I want to go woods with a shotgun and get some kills there too. So, we're gonna get into this so that uh, so that if we do die, we still have uh, we still have progress. We can make this episode. I'm interested to play around with the DVL. This is now now that we have a little bit of money, we can buy a couple loadouts. Um, this is less pressure than the last raid. This is. I'd like to get some kills, but if we don't, that's cool too. We have key with tapes. We can rush resort if we have the right spawn, um, which would be fantastic. Um, See if we can get like a Ledex or something and then just get the fuck out of there. That'd be great. So that said, I'll see you on the deploying screen and we'll uh, we'll figure it out when we when we get there. So, OK, loading in. So let's get our map up and uh, and be ready to rush dorms if we have the right spawn. And otherwise, we have to we have to start capital. We have to be more confident. Here's the thing I realized after the last episode, we have to be as confident as possible in the first five minutes because that's when you have the most certainty about when the other players are there. Um, so, so from here, <clears throat> I don't know, got a couple thoughts. We could, we could run right to the edge of this and then look over to the right <clears throat> and keep an eye on stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's a thought. Like here. So I really think it would be mostly there because we have the farther spawn this direction to the west. So I think it would be mostly from there. We have headphones on, right? We do. Okay. This is assuming somebody right there. Oh, hold still for me. Oh, come on, hold still for me. I'm gonna save up enough stamina that I can peek. Do you think I killed him? I don't think so. But I may have? Wouldn't it be sick if we did? Um, Punisher, we did get him. Let's go. Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. The real question was, was it a headshot? I don't think it was. Um, Let's go. It was. Let's fucking go. I'm so stoked about that. It's just the right... <sighs> this is why I love Tarkov, man. I spent all these last two episodes with uh, with the VPO, just like unconfident in the uh, in the sniping department. And now, right weapon.
Everything is looking a lot nicer. So we're going to attempt to loot that. I should have triangulated better where exactly it was. We're going to go farther this way, I think, before we do loot it. This gun, I wonder how easy it is to spot this gun, considering it is so green. I think it's like right there at the body. But yeah, we're 100% trying to loot that. We didn't see a teammate either. I don't believe so. It was like directly along one of these lines, right? Was it closer? Is it that rock you ran around? There's no way, right? Maybe. I mean, it wasn't any farther. I don't know for a fact that I got that shoreline kill this raid. We may have already had one shoreline kill. Uh, with a headshot. Where did he go? Right there. I shot over his head on that one. I hit him. That's a kill. Where's that at? There's a scav, must have been. Right there. Come on, come on. Wrong button. Hurry up, Ryan. I'm panicking. <laughs> right there. We're gonna run and try and relocate. Right there. It's a scab. Must be, right? My gun is not quiet. Gun is so not quiet. Can you reload while doing this? I think you probably can, right? I just hear something? BP ammo. 
Is this the hammer sight? What is this? Good shit here. Lots of heals I'm gonna grab out. So much ammo. My friend, you could have just taken it in your uh um in your stash. Okay, so I don't think we killed him. Um, this scab over there. I'm also pretty sure it was a scab. So I think we're gonna move past it. How overweight am I right now? I don't know. Pretty overweight. Um, yeah, pretty overweight, so that's fine. All right. We would like to get out of this, uh, of this raid alive. We would really like to get out of this raid alive. I can certainly go to Shoreline if we want. To Resort, sorry. Could certainly do it. But also, could just do more runs rather than... Rather than try and stack more into every run. I'd love to take this loadout back into the guys loadout into a raid as well. They came in. So we'll see. Just saw right there. Probably a scav. love being right here. It's better than being up on the hill, though. You know? <clears throat> so on the off chance that was not a scav... You know what we should do? We should push in case he's doing the uh, the quest. You can jump over those. Wow. In case he's doing like the fishing gear quest. Cab right there. Where'd he go? Right there. That's fine. See ya. I feel good about this in, uh, this DBL. Feel really good about it. Feels very powerful. Nobody's been here. Cool. Isn't M62 better ammo than what I just used? Isn't M62 like incredible ammo? Am I wrong?
feel like it's really incredible ammo. I'm leaning towards just getting out of this raid, by the way. Um, of course. But. Kind of keeping an eye on the top of the hill there. love going that way oh, especially now that I ran myself out of a uh, stamina forgot we're overweight this is so sketch yeah we're just gonna try and get out of here it's money, which is fantastic, and it's also good gear, so. Should just make it out and try and bring this next loadout in. Reset. At this point, we don't know where people are for sure. We don't have that many quest items to get done. We have some for sure, but uh, we're just going to keep trying to get small wins under our belt, I think. If we can. I, I, I'm kind of, I'm re, like, it's, it's an idea I heard in a video the other day. I'm trying to remember who said it. I think it might have been Gigabeef, to, in, in all, com in complete honesty. I think it might have been the Tarkov creator Gigabeef TV. Um, who makes YouTube videos and I think streams as well. So shout out to him. And it's a, it's an idea that makes total sense once you think about it, but like, Idea being, you know most about when people are. You have the most certainty about where people are in the first seconds of a raid. And from there, your certainty dwindles uh, pretty steadily until it's almost gone. You can, like, at the end, towards, you know, the longer you're in a raid, the more you're like, okay, well, at this point in a raid, people are probably looting Shoreline Resort, but you don't know where, you know. Starting, you don't know exactly where they spawned and how many people spawned and all that, but you know much closer to certainly. Shit, I keep forgetting. Shit. Uh, yeah, you know much more certainly. So, we're gonna just crouch, I think, a bunch of times on the way over there. It's still early, so speaking of certainty, we should be able to get over there. If there's ever a place I wanted to crawl through, it's this tall grass. Cool. Uh, I'm going to do my best not to forget about hydration and stuff this episode, too. So, goal is going to be... To, uh, get out of the raid still having uh, or sorry to maybe eat or drink something at the start of the next raid to top it all off great stuff there great stuff there um super happy with that so got a kill we'll see if it's a headshot i don't remember if we got a shoreline headshot already or not but um Headshot just got one tapped. I hate to break it to you, my friend. You got one tapped on 123 meters. Let's go. I did kill that second. Ten minutes later. I think this is a bleed out. I think this is a bleed out. Um, great. Cool. It doesn't say a distance, so I think it's a bleed out. Uh, great. Awesome. One of my longest shots was 156 meters. I think that was the cowboy guy running away. Cowboy hat scab running away. Which I think I may have been the kill. I don't know. Oh, that makes me feel good. We're inching our way. Inching our way along this quest. And we will be. But uh, what I love about that is that's like a plan. That's like, that's a plan. A plan that goes well. Which is just uh, sometimes hard to come by. So, all right, sweet. We have all of this stuff is going right here too many freaking mags my friend too many mags um this which will stay we can use that for something for sure um 
yeah these are the really goddamn good rounds so that means we're gonna try and do is actually put these in the uh put the good rounds in first i'm gonna use them and then we will take this out and leave it out and uh we'll have we'll have these uh these m80 rounds uh or sorry, these M yeah yeah M80 rounds is our backup, but our first bullets will be great. Cool. Uh, we want to repair this sucker. Fantastic. Um. Okay. Book. I think we just want to bring in here. Let's see. You need a book? I don't remember. Antique book. One needs to be found and raided for a collector. It does. And do I have it already is the question. We already have a collector. Uh, it does not appear so. So, cool. Fantastic. Great. And sell. That is... Uh, that's for use. Um, or selling. Bunch of grenades. We'll take one in. Bandage, we could take that down here. That down there. Six there. Okay. And uh what did we have down here? Jammer probably? Yeah, yeah. Alright, sweet. Let's uh let's get back into it. So otherwise, um Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna pop literally right back in and uh and see if we can repeat um on shoreline so let's do morning raid this time ensure our new stuff new helmets i'll see you on the deploying screen okay uh let's see here just checking how long we've recorded and making sure things are still audio is still good let's do it shoreline see if we can get a kill um okay the killer a couple Okay, so there's a person on the right. I think we should run. I think we should run straight for it. Interesting. Um, okay, so we've had the spawn to the right here. It's the one I've used recently. They could be coming right through here. Or up on any of these rocks. And right through that bush. Okay. So let's go straight for key with tape room. Or we'll take a glance. What do we want? Kills or loot? I think we go for the loot this time. I just bought the key with tape. I want to use it. I just heard a scav. Where'd I get shot from? Player? Okay, this is tense. I don't know if this is scav boss or what. is the longer we stay here the more likely we have to fight
Uh oh. Is that his body or not? Nah? I think I got him. Reload. Search. Grab. Nothing. I don't know this is nearly as important. Okay, I'm nervous. Vaseline. What is it? Ibuprofen. Yeah, two. Painkillers, come on. Okay, so we're east side. Upper floor? It's gotta be right. He just keeps running. Come on, give me a kill here. It's over our head. I need to get the fuck out of here. I hit him. We want to go to the roof or not? We have to have water, or else we're going to die. That's the problem. We should go loot some stuff if we're here. Right? What is it? The Gustin, Rubles, Milk, it's great. Okay. What's the X one? It's 313. We're doing great. We're doing great. And you still need to search this shit. None of that stuff do I care about at all. Okay, um, also an S march there, great. Oh, this is the one, let's actually go up. I'm liking how the gun is performing. So what I want to do is uh, take advantage of that while I can. Any of these rounds will do will do great damage. I happen to have 
um, one gun that will do better than that, but it's for bleeds. Somebody underneath me. It's probably the scab I shot, honestly. I had to guess. Alright. Quick peek a boot. Quick peek a boot. <laughs> no, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I hate myself. No. I thought I'm not close enough to the edge. That's incredible. That's incredible. Somebody did shoot me in the stomach earlier, and technically he gets the kill, Mr. Landslide. Damn. All right, whatever. Um, I'm never going to live that one down. Oh, my God. Listen, I really, really, really wanted to get into... Uh, into a woods run today uh and so that's why i did that to show you guys that that i really wanted to get into a woods run and try and get some uh some scav kills on woods so that's what i'm gonna do definitely that's the reason um i did not think i was gonna jump that far far of course i didn't because like any sane human i did not think uh i did not think that's how that was gonna go um jesus christ <laughs> you gotta admit that's pretty freaking funny though um all right, so that's woods. Let's grab a bunch of AP-20. Uh, great. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself. That's fine. That's just, that's a, that's a hilarious Tarkov moment. Like, um... <laughs> And the minute you're in the air, you're like, is there any way that I survive? No, of course you're not going to survive. What do you mean? You just jumped from three stories. <laughs> of course you're not going to survive. What are you talking about? It's a damn shame. Uh, it was a good raid, too. It was a good raid. Um, we were going to get out of that just fine, I think. Um, it's not a big deal. I am happy to... I'm happy to lose that one for the memes, you know? Um... Probably taking a backpack just in case. Uh, I should take in a couple more meds. So seven, four, six, and five. Cool. Uh, and then I just need a helmet. Great. You have to admit that's the funniest shit. You have to admit it's the funniest shit. Funniest shit you've ever seen? Funniest shit you've seen all day? It's gotta be. Alright, uh, pure scav kills run. Um, let's see what we can do. Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Alright, and I will see you on the deploying screen. Okay. So, get this woods map pulled up, and uh, now we're just going to have some fun. Now we're going to have some fun. It's not a huge deal no matter what goes on here. Um, see if we can get a couple scavs. Don't go that way. All right. I think I know vaguely where we are. I hope so. Otherwise, we'll die. Uh, I think you said... Let's see. We're on the western side of the map. Yep, scav house. Cool. You know what I should do? I have no food and water. Why do I do this? It's the one mistake I make constantly. I should run in here for food and water. That's what I was just about to say. I make this mistake so freaking often.
It's uh, it's depressing how often I make this mistake. They'll never know to look for me here, right where the scabs are. You know? I'm definitely safe right here. Can we run across the open field here? We could. We actually have a, uh, a Lindley's controller here. I didn't bring the, uh, the Wi-Fi camera, like a dummy, but... We could go towards, like, Mark Circle, this area. This little thing. There tends to be a scab here. Pretty early. If not immediately, pretty early. Occasionally you can find food and water here too. Hey, would you look at that? I still cannot believe I jumped. We're just not going to talk about it, okay? <laughs> We're actually done talking about it. I'm never talking about it again. Um, I can't believe I did that. It's incredible. I've always wondered... It was just a scab, too. Like, why was I getting so frustrated about not being able to... I wasn't getting frustrated. Why was I getting so concerned with killing that guy? It was just a scab I'd hit once, you know? I'm 99% sure. I don't think... Maybe it was a player. Maybe. It might have been the same player who hit me earlier. But, uh... I don't know. Patience would have won out there. Okay, so the mark circle should be like here-ish, right? I literally can never remember how to find it. Um, from there. I'm looking at the map, if you can't tell. Yo, I never remember how to find it. I think that's Sniper. Or at least... Somebody shooting like Sniper, at Sniper. There it is. Right by the rock. Oh my god, pliers, are you kidding me? Wow. Beautiful. Well. We had to 100% hit that shot. Now I'm rushing in case... He has a teammate. Uh, usually I would not rush if he has a teammate. This situation we're rushing if he has a teammate. Holy shit. Okay, I need to kill you with a shotgun. My friend. I know you are not super concerned with how you die. But I need to kill you with a shotgun.
Was it too long? Must be. Um... Yeah, it's too long. Okay, cool. That's fine. Um, use that. Great. Put that there. Sure. Alright, where are you, Scav? Possible he ran over, like, this way? No grenades? Okay. So where is he? Is he a, a player? You know, I think he might have been a player. You're a player. T5000. What's in this? M61. Okay. So... I mean, I should probably just take the ammo out, but... It's fine. So, the one thing we're going to try and do here... Uh, let's keep it on it right here. There we go. Oh yeah, we still haven't killed one. Uh, I forgot. We killed a player. That's it. Come on, scavs. Come on. Is this a player over here? It might have been. Okay, the thing we're actually going to do is go check over by ZB016. <clears throat> Just because I'm here, I'm going to kind of do the back and forth real quick. Between the two. Then we can go back, back towards Lumberyard, you know, whatever. I like the, uh, the, there's like two scavs that can spawn over here. I don't have enough stamina. Walking through the open here. Um, there's like two scavs that can spawn over here. One behind the wall and a bunch, maybe even a bunch in this open field. I don't know. Like through here. Also, of course, players going for the bunker, but... Need more stamina. Just sprinting around like a maniac. Sixty round mags. Oh, buddy. Almost ran around that the wrong way. Nothing. Cool. So. Right there. Just saw it. couple 
Scavs. I don't know who got mad at who, though. If he's mad at me or the other guy. That's at me. Nothing. Okay. I should probably kill the other guy first. But I don't know where he is. It's the garage door if you can hear that. Apologies. This is the guy who would be getting away if it's a player scav. It's probably a player. It's probably a player and he ran away. Um, he extracted. Um, in which case I don't want to fight him either way. I got him. Just so happens that he lit my shit up, though. Broke my arm. Mm. What's this guy's name? Uh, Alright, let's use that. Oh, shit. There's another one. Did I kill the one? I better have killed him. Oh, man. That sucks. Damn. Did I get a scav kill there? No, I didn't kill him. Wow. It count two, so I only hit him once. Because I hit the other guy once. Well, shit. That's funny. Getting scav kills on the one hand and or getting PMC kills on the one hand and scav kills on the other. All right. That's actually going to have to do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I, I had a good I had a good couple runs in there and then a couple easy mistakes. But uh, such is life. Such is life. Uh, we're, we're cranking, though. We're cranking and we're having a great time. So if you enjoyed this episode, I would really appreciate a like on the video. Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow. Another another episode of Tarkov and uh, and probably another me leaping off of the roof to my death. Bye-bye.